everybody, welcome back to the DIY Designer. I'm Orly Shani. Today is a fantastic fall DIY because what happens in fall, if you're anything like me, is you end up getting a bunch of new and exciting sweaters and all those old sweaters, not so much. This DIY, I'm gonna show you how to take a couple of sweaters that you're no longer wearing and how you can turn them into really cute, slouchy, comfy, cozy beanies. These sweaters that I have right now actually are ones that I bought at a thrift store. And I bought them thinking that I would do a different DIY with them and I just never did. I've been holding on to them because they're great fabric. So this one you can see, it's a little bit boxy and big. It's not super cute the way that it fits me, but it's got really cool color and the metallic pink and green is dope. So I really loved that. And then this fuzzy pink one is like so perfectly clueless, 90s heaven, and I love it, but I was never wearing it as a sweater. So these are both gonna be turned into hats. So it's super simple. Let's get started with materials. Alrighty, so here is my pink sweater. I've started off by unbuttoning it and cutting the top and the sleeves off of it. I decided I wanted to save the sleeves to be like little leg warmers for my boots, so I just cut them evenly and save them. Now here is my hat that I'm using as a pattern. I wanna make it a slouchy beanie, so I wanna make sure that I use all that excess space at the top. So you start off with a regular seam allowance and then give yourselves like four or five inches of extra space at the top. Fold it in half and use it as a guide to cut your other side. And now you've got a perfectly even hat. So most beanies will have that crisscross pattern and that creates a nice rounded shape. So we wanna create that for ourselves. Take your two pieces and fold them in half and you can layer them on top of each other and cut at the same time as long as the fabric's not too thick. Now you wanna cut a very narrow V, about two inches long. And when you can see it, it only comes to about an inch, inch and a half wide. Now this is a no sew beanie, so I'm using fabric glue here. Add a little bit of glue, fold it in half, and sort of press down on those edges. You're gonna do the same thing to both sides, and when it's pressed down and it's dried and you open it, you can see we've got that beginning part of the crisscross we're gonna make. Now layer your hat face to face, and we're going to apply our glue all the way down in the bottom because this is not going to be the kind of hat that flips up on the bottom. It's going to just sit normally. So we add glue, really sandwich it down, give yourself a good amount because this is all that's holding it together. Give it a good amount of time to dry, and when it's dry, you can flip it inside out. Okay. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and sew this one. The technique is very similar, but just a little different. Now, this green and pink ribbing, I wanna do the fold-up version of the hat, where it actually folds up, so the technique is slightly different. I've decided to use a hat that has that folded up end, that way I can use it as a pattern. Since we know that that's gonna fold up, you actually wanna lay your hat above the ribbing so that it doesn't become too short once it folds. About a half an inch of seam allowance is plenty here, so just follow the guide and give yourself that half an inch so when you sew it, it's gonna fit you just right. Now, I started to take my beanie and fold it in half, but I wanted to just ensure that it was in fact the right size. So before I cut, I measured my blue beanie. It came out to 10 inches, and since I'm folding in half, I need to find my middle point. My middle point, obviously, is five inches. So I take that five inch point, but because I need seam allowance, you just wanna scooch it a tiny bit, about a half an inch to an inch, and now cut, and that's gonna make sure that this beanie fits just like my blue one. Okay, we have our two pieces ready to go. We are going to do the exact same thing to create that X shape as we did on our pink one. So fold your beanie in half, and because this was really thick fabric, I decided to cut each one at a time. So I cut my first V and then I laid it on top of my other side as a pattern. So now I've got two identical Vs. Now since I'm sewing this, this is how I close it. I sandwich it together and I do a simple straight stitch. You can see that I've done that there. Now when I open it, it creates that nice rounded shape. Okay, so it's time to sew our beanie closed. You wanna make sure to layer your right side to your right side. That way when you flip the beanie inside out, obviously the proper side is showing. So you're going to sew only the blue part. Leave your ribbing alone, do not sew that closed. We sew all the way around and you can see it's been sewn, but my ribbing is not sewn. Now we flip the hat inside out and we're actually gonna sew our ribbing closed opposite. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's my crisscross. That's gonna create my nice rounded shape. So here, take that ribbing and sew that closed on the outside. And that is because once you fold it up, it's going to be clean finished. You can see right now my seam is visible, but look, I fold it and now I've got a perfectly clean finished edge on my ribbing and a perfectly clean finished edge on my hat. And that's it, this hat is done. Let's see what it looks like. 
So we have a so and a no so version. I'm gonna try these on and see how they look. They're super simple to do. Um, really just depends on whether you wanna sew it or not, so totally up to you. I'd say the chunkier the sweater, the more you should sew it. Let's try these bad boys on. Yeah.